to help you with increasing the risk for your employees. So let's start off with them. But doing that won't make sense in its own because what we are suggesting is an integrated approach to the piracy problem. The only way to make your employees safe in the long run is to treat the root cause of piracy. The root cause is not found at sea, it is found at land. Therefore, we must go to the second stakeholder of the problem, the local community. If you were to guess on who is it who becomes pirate, what would your guess be? My guess would be it's the local people. It's the guy who's starving. So if he is not to become a pirate, he must have an alternative. This alternative can be created by you, and he will actually gain and benefit massively from your investment. This is of course done by his living condition being raised by the fact that he is now having a job. Keep in mind that he will no longer be threatened of being killed due to the fact that he was a pirate. You might right now sit with the feeling of, are we able to do this? We are local, no, sorry, we are private business. Is it even beyond, uh, within our scope to deal with stuff like this? But let me just remind you what you did in Nigeria when you constructed the Apapa port. Basically, you turned in, you constructed a deep water port, it took you two years to make it, and meanwhile, you took local people trained them, educated them, and made them into skilled labor force. With a model like that, you will actually be able to do the exact same thing in Somalia. If we then look at the third stakeholder, we must mention the Somali government. Bjerg just told us once again that this government is newly recognized. Therefore, we actually believe that you will be able to do this. And furthermore, the government will benefit massively from you being there. Being the world leader in container shipping, having you investing in Somalia is not just something that happens every day. Your investment is a blueprint of the Somali government. You are telling the international society that an investment in Somalia is not only feasible, but it's doable. Let me remind you that you will not be the first multinational corporation to do this. As we explained earlier today, Coca-Cola has already started their bubbling plant in Somalia. They're running business there, so why shouldn't you do the same? Even further, I believe, we believe, that the Somali government will benefit from this solution. The reason for this should of course be found in that they will for the first time in 22 years have the possibility of conducting their own country. As we talked about earlier today, local embeddedness is important for projects like this. The local embeddedness, having the, uh, the uh, what's it called? government working together with you will actually help you massively. They will have to provide security and infrastructure. Finally, if we look at where we are right now, when we say supremacy at land requires victory, victory at sea requires at land, you have to go to an ant integrated approach. By that, we actually just mean keep your employees secure, go further on, collaborate with the local community, and finally, have the government on board. Only by having these three stakeholders benefiting from your investment will you actually show that not only are you doing good business, you're always also investing in a better future for a lot of people. Thank you for having us. Thank you.